Weather and Climate Part 2 Temperature Zone Factors Affecting Climate The average weather conditions of a place calculated for a long period of time is called climate. The life of the people, their food habits, clothes and animals and plants found in a particular place are affected by its climate. There are many factors which affect the climate of a place. They are altitude, latitude, distance from the sea, humidity and wind. Altitude Altitude of the height above sea level affects the climate of a place. Temperature decreases with increasing height or altitude. For example, the climate of a place becomes cooler as we move from the plains, may have very hot climate, but a nearby mountain may have snow-covered peak. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa is situated near the equator but its peak remains covered with snow for most part of the year. This is because its peak is at high altitude. Latitude or distance from the equator Places situated near the equator receive direct rays of the sun. Therefore, the climate of the place in the equatorial region is very hot and humid. Places located at high altitude receive slanting rays of the sun. The slanting rays travel for longer distance and spread out over a large area. As we move towards the poles, the rays of the sun become more slanting and the amount of heat received is less. Distance from the sea Places which are situated far away from the sea or ocean are cold in winter and hot in summer. This is because of the land and sea breezes which keep the coastal regions cool. During daytime, land heats up faster and warms the air above. The warm air rises and make way for the cool breeze blowing over the sea. At night, sea remains warm because it loses heat slowly as compared to land. The air above the sea is warm and it rises, making way for the cool breeze blowing from the land. This is how distance from the sea affects the climate of a place. Humidity The amount of water vapor or moisture present in the air is called humidity. If the humidity in the air is more, it often causes rainfall. Places near the equator are hot and humid, hence they receive a lot of rainfall. Places situated in desert regions receive little or no rainfall. This is because the air which blows over desert is dry. Wind Winds which blow from the sea towards land often bring rainfall to coastal areas. For example, the monsoon wind blow over the Arabian Sea and bring rainfall to the western coast of India. Similarly, warm wind increase the temperature of a place. For example, hot and dry wind called loo blow over most parts of northern India. Loo is one of the factors which increases the temperature of many places in summer. Temperature zones of the world Based on the latitudinal extent, the world is divided into three broad temperate zones or heat zones. The heat zones of Earth are determined by the amount of sunlight they receive. The three heat zones are the torrid zone, temperature zone and frigid zone. These zones are found in both northern and southern hemispheres. The torrid zone. The region located between the two tropics 23.5 degree north and 23.5 degree south has a tropical or hot and humid climate. This region is called the torrid zone. The sun's rays are direct and strongest in this region. Most of Africa, southern part of India, Indonesia, northern part of South America and North Australia fall in this zone. Temperate zone. The region located between the Tropic of Cancer 23.5 degree north in the northern hemisphere is the north temperature zone. The region between the Tropic of Capricorn 23.5 degree south and the Antarctic Circle 66.5 degree south in the southern hemisphere is the south temperate zone. The places in the temperate zone have a moderate climate throughout the year. The climate is neither too hot nor too cold. The temperate zone lies between the torrid and frigid zones. Europe, Great Britain, Central Asia, Northern part of India, Southern Australia, New Zealand and the Southern part of South America lie in the zone. 
frigid zone in the northern hemisphere the frigid zone lies between the arctic circle 66 and a half degree north and the north pole 90 degree north in the southern hemisphere the frigid zone lies between the arctic circle 66 and a half degree south and the south pole 90 degree south this zone remains extremely cold throughout the year most of the places in the frigid zone remains covered with snow or ice northern canada a large portion of greenland northern russia arctic ocean and antarctic lies in this zone now let's recall altitude latitude distance from the sea humidity and wind are some factors which affect the climate of a place the heat zones of the earth are determined by the amount of sunlight received by them torrid temperature and frigid are the three heat zones of the world the torrid zone lies between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn the temperature zone lies between the frigid and torrid zones in the northern hemisphere the frigid zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole in the southern hemisphere it lies between antarctic circle and the south pole